Hello, everybody. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Two wide receivers will be looking to be number one targets on the field in today's game. It's Watkins' Bill going up against Welker's Jets. Now we'll head down to Jim Nance and Bill Sims for this Week 5 matchup. It's the NFL on EA Sports. Two AFC East teams about to collide as we join you from Ralph Wilson Stadium. Hello, friends. Jim Nance along with Bill Sims. It always gets ratcheted up, the intensity, that is, when you got a divisional matchup at your hands, like you do today. There's no doubt about that, Jim. When you play a division loaded the second time around, you know, there's an animosity that grows from the first game. Which coaching staff can come up with a different scheme in a different way of attacking the opponent is the one that's going to have the best chance to win here today. So now as we go to the field, it's Marquise Goodwin back deep for the kickoff. Nick Folk in position now to get this game started with the opening kickoff. And he's tackled right at the 30-yard line after that return. So we've got a young quarterback with some experience stepping onto the field today for the first time. Yeah, he's got a lot of talent, and it's just a matter of time until he takes that experience and matches it with all of his talent and becomes one of those guys that we say, hey, the game is going to hinge on him. I think he's very close to that. First down here. The Bills all bunched up here as they get set at the line. Hand off May, trying to fight through right up the middle of the field. Here's the Bills' offense. Their running game, not what everybody thought it would be. Right in the middle of the pack when it comes to league average. Good ones lined up in the slot. Trying to beat the play clock. Keeps it here. Underneath and incomplete that time. Here's the Jets line up on defense. Can anyone on this defensive unit find out a way to stop the passing attack? The Bills now facing third down. A week ago, they were up to the challenge in these spots. The Bills come to the line with an empty backfield. From the shotgun. Looking across the middle. Pass is intercepted. He's brought down. Smith's, of course, going to be the man at quarterback today. Now an experienced quarterback with four years under his belt. Bryce Brown is in the backfield. He's going to go draw. Still powering ahead. Tackle down at the 46-yard line. Now we'll get a look at the Jets' offensive lineup. They've done a great job of converting on third down this season. It's now second down. Lined up in a single back formation. Quick drop back. It's over to Welker. The Jets now move the chains. Good job that time by the quarterback. Man to man coverage down the field. When you see it, you got to be accurate with the football. He was that time, and that's why we got the completion. Geno Smith under center. The Jets will take the snap from the 35. Goes to the left. He's tackled right at the 31. And now we'll take a look at the Bills' defensive lineup. What a strong secondary they have here as they have really found a way to shut down opponents' quarterbacks. Smith is in the shotgun. Makes the reception. And this will end up as a two-yard loss. Well, it's just a dumb call. When you throw it behind the line of scrimmage like that, you deserve to lose some yards. That's what happened on that play. The Bills come out in a dime package. Third and eight. Incomplete looking underneath that time. 
Good job that time by the defense. They get the fourth down situation here. They were bending a little bit, but they didn't give up the big play. Good job. The Jets are going to call on the punting team. This will bounce into the end zone for a touchback. First down, offense readying for the snap. Watkins is a receiver in the slot. Keeps it on the play fake. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Watkins taken down. Well, Jim, I always say it's about deception when you're playing offense. That time, the play action fake by the quarterback was so good, the defense didn't even see that he still had the football, and he throws it down there for a nice completion. The Bills will go with the get pistol ready. on this play. First down at the 31. Keeps it here. Finds his mark. Fires there that time for the tackle. There's nothing like a play action pass when the offensive linemen make it look like it's a run. The linebackers are all near the line of scrimmage and easy to throw it down the field for that completion. Double tight end formation. First down at the 46. And now they'll be on the other side of the 50 after this play. Power running. A lot of teams in this league don't even do it anymore. This team, they can power it up in there and pick up those tough yards. The Bills doing their part to spread breast cancer awareness this month in the NFL. Plenty of pink on their uniforms today and throughout the stadium. Here's the handoff, and he's tackled. He'll be a yard short of the first. Second and short, the defense is thinking run, and what do they get? They get a run. They were waiting for it and they made a nice play to stop them short of the first down. Let's go. It's going to get set in the slot for this snap. Muscles through the defender. The tackle's made, and the first down is picked up. The Bills are great at managing a football game. They know the situation here. It's a short yardage situation, so don't try to do anything fancy. Just run it up in there with power and get the first down. Get ready. First and yet. Dropping back now into the shotgun. He'll throw it over the middle. And they tackle him there at the 34. That's a good job by the quarterback. He read the defense. Nothing open deep, so he throws it short. And it puts him in great position for a second down play call. Let's go. The Bills have it at the 34. He'll fire it out to the left. Great spree. That picks up 11. Crossing rounds. That's what you want to throw when you see this type of coverage. Four deep. Cover four. Look for guys going across the field. Hard for the defense to cover those throws. Wide receivers are bunched up. First down at the 23. They give it to him on the counter. He gets into the end zone. Tapping off. about it. This running back's one of the top ten in the NFL. How about that run for a touchdown all the way down the field, just showing great speed and out running the defense for the long touchdown. The Bills getting set now for the extra point. The point after try is in the books. Bills ready to poop this one down the field. Touchback and the ball will be spotted at the 20. It's first down as they head to the line. They'll go ground up the middle. They'll mark him at the 22. Got to give a lot of credit to the defense. They were all over the run that time, and they only give up a short game. 
They went with the ground game on first down, bringing up second. Bryce Brown is in the backfield. Smith's back in shotgun formation. Intercepted! He's stacked up at that point. That was an awesome job by the defense. They just read the quarterback's eyes. They got in position, and they made the interception. They come to the line of scrimmage. First down. They're setting up screen. Jim, this time it's a halfback screen. Nice job by the quarterback. The halfback, good job after catching it, picked up some good yards. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Let's Offense go. lines up here to the ground. Brought down after a gain of six. It's getting harder and harder in the NFL the to score when you're this close to the goal line. So what will the offense do? They, they better be creative. That's all I know. And here we have second down. Goal line defense on the field. Inaccurate with that one. It's third goal right here in a close game. This offense, they want to take control. If they score right here, that could give them control of this game. Not even a foot away. The defense loading up on the line, getting set for this snap. Into the end zone for the touchdown. Well, Jim, I think he's one of the top ten running backs in the NFL, and he proves it because he just knows how to get in the end zone. That time, he's physical, gets that extra little, little yardage that you need, and gets into the end zone. The Bills getting set now for the extra point. The point after is good. The Bills defense certainly contributing to the cause here today. And that interception was good enough to lead the offense out for a short field and a score. And that return ends rather quietly short of the 20. Let's mark him at the 16. First down here. Gresham's usually a tight end, but he's in the backfield this time. Brown's handed the football, and he's tackled just two yards short of a first down. That was a power running play that time by the offense. It picked up some good yards. Nothing like it. Show the defense you're willing to get in there and slug it out and get some tough running yards. The Jets have it at the 24. Brown's got it on the handoff. He's tackled beyond the markers. It's a first down. Brown's a great running back to have on your football team, isn't he? He goes up in there and gets the first down. Now your offense has three more chances. The defense comes out of the dime. The Jets have it at the 29. The ball is jarred loose. The offense was able to recover the ball. Good job with the safety getting that sack. I'll, I'll say this. He can tackle, he can cover, and he's showing us he can blitz two and get to the quarterback. After nearly turning it over, it's second down. Smith is in the shotgun. Gets it out for the completion. This is what you call throwing the wide receiver open against man-to-man -man coverage. Throw it to the open space. Let the receiver outrun the defensive back. Nice completion. They complete the pass, but still not enough for the first. Third down coming up. Geno Smith will take the snap out of the gun. Snap it out of the gun. Incomplete. That was Graham on the coverage. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long, they can do just about anything, and it's going to work, and they stop the offense that time. He 
is going to try and return this one. Terrible job by the defense that time. They did not spread the field. They got out of their running lanes. And when you do that, it creates a lane. The punt returner saw it and got some big yards. They're winning the field position battle right here as they start the next drive. Wide receivers stacked up on this play. First down at the 37. Airing it out. There is a flag up. In his hands. Complete. Touchdown. You took a few of these shots in your day, and that's a late hit on the quarterback. Yeah, nowadays he's... They, I, I believe the quarterback is overprotected. This, to me, this is a bad call. Uh, the defensive player feel bad. He, all he's doing is his job, and he still gets penalized 15 yards. The Jets now have even more work to do to get back into this one. Scores 21 to zero. Dan Carpenter readying his team for the kickoff. Jackson's running this one out, and he's across the 10, and that's about it. He's tackled at the 15-yard line. They come to the line, and it's first down. Geno Smith under center. The give. Brown's tackled down at the 15. Second down after going to the ground game, the first play. Bryce Brown is in the backfield. Second down. Smith's lined up, two tight ends set, and the second quarter is underway with this snap. Hey, this defense, they are tough. When you run that football, they got some men up front, and that time they stopped that run just for a short game. On this passing down, the defense comes out in the nickel. Out of the shotgun. It's over to Welker. That's an interception. Just running it up. That's just a tremendous job by the defensive lineman. Seeing the football, gets the interception, takes it all the way back with the help of his teammates for a touchdown. And the point after is good. The Jets' return team has been on the field way too often today as they are getting blown out. The score's 28-0. He'll take it from the six. And the tackle's made right around the 25-yard line. Geno Smith heading back out for this next series. The Jets will take the snap from the 25. They tackle him for a loss. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. It's a two tight end formation. The Jets have it at the 24, left side. That'll stop the play right there. The Jets have not had a strong running game this half, at least in the sense of handing the football off. 
Brown's going to get more touches, and you know he has to learn how to find some openings to get his team back in this one. You know, I agree with that, Jim, but also I think you got to start to think about changing the play calling, get this defense off balance, then go back to the run and see if you can catch them off guard. Well, that time the quarterback is sacked on the third down, and that's, of course, that's bad. But the good thing is he did not try to force the football down the field and get the turnover. They're set to punt it away now. He's got a chance for a return. In on the stop. The Bills now start their drive at the 40. Offense lines up here. The Bills will take the snap from the 40. Nice tackle. Good job that time by the offense. Power run gets them a few yards. Second and four following the run. Watkins in the slot. Throws to the right. Brings it in. They bring him to the turf. The quarterbacks and receivers in this NFL now are so good. It's so easy for them to throw and catch and just keep picking up those first downs. First down here after the completion. The Bills come to the line, and they put their receivers in a bunch formation. They run the counter play. They are all over them, behind the line of scrimmage, and a loss of one. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. Wide receivers are bunched up. Tight end in motion. They need to get the playoff. Another carry here. They are in the backfield in a hurry and will bring him down for a loss behind the line of scrimmage. This is a tough situation for the offense. Third and long coming up, but it's a good situation also. You're leading the football game, so there's no reason to take a chance and turn this football over. From the gun. Looking to the right side and throwing. Goodwin is taken down at the 18. And now seeing these first-half numbers, we knew coming into the game it was a possibility because this is one of the better passing attacks in the entire NFL, Phil. Absolutely. It's one of the better ones in the NFL. And that's how they have built this football team, Jim. It's about the quarterback, the Let's wide go. receivers Press doing the it yard. through the air. And if they Press want to the win games, that's how they have to get it done. They'll run it. Here's the handoff. Jeff's defense, they got backed up in their own red zone, but you know what? They came through that time. There's a run play. They were waiting for it, and they stopped the offense for a very short game. Nickel formation for the defense here. Second down and seven. They call his name again, and there's only two yards to be found right there. This team likes to throw the football in the end zone once they get inside the red zone. This is a nice changeup. They fool them. Well, they thought they were going to fool him with the run, but it only gets a short game. Third and four. Has Watkins. And they score again here to pad the lead. That was a good job on that touchdown that time. And I'll tell you, there's nothing like being on top of the other team and make them chase you. The Bills with the PAT to come. And the extra point is good. The Bills were very effective on that scoring drive, especially via the pass. Over 50 passing yards on that scoring drive. The Jets are ready to return the kick. He's got a chance to return this one. And they 
stop him from running it out to the 20. Mark him down at the 19. They face first down. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. And now on the draw. And he's tackled at the 30-yard line. The Jets offensive line is just whooping some tail today, aren't they? What a job up front. That helps the running back get in space, get down there, and pick up a big game. Now first and ten. They'll run it here to the outside. And he's going to be tackled right around the 35-yard line. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. Decker's lined up now as a slot receiver. Second and four. Draw. And he's tackled down after picking up the first. When you have defensive ends that like to go up the field and they think they're going to get to the quarterback, you know what you do to those kind of defensive ends? You run draw plays and screens underneath them. Take advantage of the fact that they're not reading their keys. First down and 10. Picks up about two. If you want to run the football with success, you're going to have plays like this where they pick up very little yardage. Don't listen to the fans. Keep running it, and it'll work. Geno Smith under center. The Jets take it from the 43. Play action fake. Looking to throw. And it's knocked down. Incomplete. That is so tough to do, to be that close to these receivers and deflect the pass without getting a penalty. Good job. Now looking at third down. Gresham's move from the tight end position to the slot. They send the tight end in motion. Smith's going to take it from the gun. Looking long to Mike Wallace. A close brush with an interception that time by Gilmore. This is what separates offensive lines in the NFL in obvious passing situations like this one on third down. Can you hold up and protect your quarterback to give him time to make those throws? Well, the answer to this one right now is no. He's going to challenge the punt covering, and that's a gain of 13. The Bills ready to take over the football. Let's go. First and 10. And this pass goes incomplete as he was looking short that time. Failing to complete that one. So, second down here. Get ready. Hand off. Nothing there as this goes for a loss of two. Defense, play the situation. It's third and long. Don't let a receiver get behind you and make a catch to pick up the first down. Keep it in front of you and then let them catch it and come up and make the tackle. Third and 12. Weaving it down the field. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. Well, that's a beautiful throw down the field that time. Gets the big completion, and we see why this quarterback has the most passing yards in the NFL. What a throw. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Halftime is coming up, but first we reach the two-minute warning. First down on the way. That long gain sets them up here on this play. Let's go. Red, Set up screen. Secures it with two hands. Shakes off the tackle. He's brought to a halt. Nice play call that time by the offensive coordinator. A little screen pass to the halfback. He knew the defensive line was going to be charging hard. They were, and it picked up some nice yards. Loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime. Out of the gun. Could have been intercepted. That was an incomplete pass that time against cover two. The two deep safeties, and 
you really want to throw the football down the middle or deep down the sidelines. That time the quarterback didn't do that, and that's why it was incomplete. An extra tight end on the field for this one. Gets the handle here and picks up maybe three or four. When you're an offensive lineman and you can line up and just run the football straight ahead and pick up those kind of yards, you are going to get into the head of the defense. You're basically saying we're tougher than you are and we're just going to come right at you. Two tight ends on the field here. Third and six. Pulls it in. Game's 11. Well, once again, the offense is in the red zone. They've got a big lead. I think it's up to this defense. Finally show a little toughness and try to stop them for once. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Nickel formation here for the defense. They'll go ground up the middle and gains about one. Hard to score a touchdown sometimes when you get in the red zone in the NFL. Why? Because the defense doesn't have to worry about passes down the field. The offense runs it. They are ready to get it done, and they do, and stop the offense for a short game. They'll go shotgun here. As Watkins, the Bills have clearly been focusing on getting some of their big weapons involved here in the first half. Watkins has been a favorite of his quarterback, and he's proven why he deserves to be targeted so often today. You're right. He deserves to be targeted because he is one of the better wide receivers in the NFL. And when he catches it, look out. The blowout continues. Another touchdown. That was a sweet touchdown right there. Just a nice throw by the quarterback. He put it right on the money. The receiver makes the catch. Beautiful touchdown. That does it for the first half. Jets trailing this one. We welcome you in now for the EA Sports Halftime Report presented by Verizon. Now let's take a look back at the first half. The Bills are happy to be sitting in the locker room with the lead. The Jets just want to come out after the half and claw their way back into the game. Here we go. Let's do this. Here's your first half highlights. Midway through the first quarter. Hand off the run goes up the middle. He counts off the seventh play drive with the score. They strike first in the half. Jets have it midway through the first. The pass ends up being picked off. Williams is in position, and he's the one who comes away with the ball. Offense now with the shot after the interception. He'll head up the middle on the run, and a quick three-play drive ends with the score. Fields up by two touchdowns. Gets him late in the first. The quick pass and completion is made, and this great play will go for six. The Bills up now by 21. Bills have it at the 40. The catch is made after a quick pass, and he won't be brought down until he makes it to the 18-yard line. Sticking with the same drive. Watkins is going to haul in the pass. And after the short pass, he'll score. The blowout is on. Fields have it at the seven. Here he'll look into the end zone. And he goes in for the touchdown to cap the draw. Fields with a commanding lead. So that's all for us at the EA Sports Studio. We'll go back now to the field for the... what is one of the oldest stadiums in the NFL. Ralph Wilson Stadium. Jim Nance, Phil Sims, Danielle Bellini for the beginning of the third quarter. First down coming up. They motion the receiver around to the other side. Brown's taking the handoff. Good piece of tackling. When I was a quarterback, I loved it when they called the draw play because I know that defensive line, they're all trying to go after the quarterback, and nobody's prepared for the run. Coming to the line, 
hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Handoff made. He's brought down at the 25-yard line. Well, I know it's not going to make a highlight film, but still a good solid run up in there for a couple yards. It's third down coming up. Gresham's a tight end, but now shifted into the backfield. Brown's going to take the handoff now. And he's tackled, but not until he picked up the first down. Well, that'll make you feel a little better. Finally getting a first down. You're down big in the second half, and you're on the offensive side. Don't look for the quick score. Just look to pick up positive yards and hope it leads you to a score later. And he's tackled at the 32-yard line. This is one good tackling defense. They stay in good position at all times, and we saw at that time when they stopped the play for a short game. Geno Smith under center. Second down and eight. Here's the handoff. Williams is there to make the stop. Nice job that time by the defensive end. He's not fooled by the running play. He holds his position and makes the tackle. Third down now. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Smith's got it in the gun. The defense gets a sack. we got to give that defense in front a lot of credit, man. They are pushing. They're getting after it. They know it's probably going to be a pass on third down, and they get back to the quarterback and take him down. down at the 42 yard line of course Jim you and I would have called a fair catch there because you know why we're cowards who'd want to take this kind of punishment when the defenders all around you first down at the 42 will go ground the tackle is made Second down coming up. Three, Offense three, lines three, up three, here. Three. Goodwin's lined up in the slot. They better hurry to get the snap. Three step drop. They're going to get him here for a sack. I don't know who to blame here. Was it a great play by the safety get the sack on the quarterback? Or the quarterback just not paying attention? Seeing him coming, and if you see him, you've got to change the play or get rid of the football a lot quicker. He'll stand back beyond the center in the gun. This offense can't be stopped on third down no matter the distance. All right, coaches, don't get greedy. Be decisive over there on the sideline. Do what's best for your football team. Keep getting those first downs and letting that clock just keep running. You got a big go. lead here in the second half. Don't take any chances. To the ground. He'll be taken down about three yards short of the first. Coming up, second down. Offense lines up here. And now here's the toss. Tackle's made, and the first down is picked up. I think the coach on the sidelines, he's going to be happy with every first down because he knows that's more time off the clock. When you're up like this, multiple scores in the second half, Every first down just puts the odds in your favor of winning this game. Wide receivers stacked up on this play. Toss to the outside. Richardson in on the tackle. Second down here. Get ready. 
Dixon's going to receive the toss. He's tackled beyond the markers. It's a first down. This offense has been moving the football all day long. Once again in the red zone, they have a big lead. What will they do? I think they'll just try to run it in from here. They're able to move the chains after that last run. They bring in the extra tight end. They're going to run it on the toss. That's a gain of eight. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they can come up with a play that fools the defense. For this play, they'll go with two tight ends. Second and short. Outside now on the toss. And they'll end up losing four here. The Jets' defense is so fast and so powerful. That time on the run play, they just overpower the offensive line. They tackle the runner for a loss. It'll be third down. Dropping back three. Going to be a penalty here. Another third down conversion. The offense continues to come through in the clutch. Personal foul. Roughing the passer. Defense. Player showing no restraint. Coming in on the quarterback. And that late hit will cost his team 15. A lot of times these late hits are called. And I, I feel for the defensive player. Not in this case. That was an easy call. A blatant late hit. It's hey. worthy of 15 yards. Throw to the left. The margin is increased with another touchdown. Well, it's first to go. I think a lot of defense is a thinking run here. And so the offense, they call a nice play. Very deceptive. They throw the football and they get the easy touchdown pass. Bills ready to boot this one down the field. No return. The ball's coming out to the 20. Geno Smith takes the field for another time. First and ten. The defense comes out of the nickel. Long ball to Deshaun Jackson. Very nearly intercepted. Just not a good decision by the quarterback. I mean, maybe on the sidelines they keep calling the wrong plays, but he's attacking the strength of this cover two defense. Don't do that. Throw where they're not. That's deep down the middle. Smith's setting up now in the pistol. Second down and ten. Brown's going to secure the handoff. Taken down just two yards short of the first. What that run does, it just puts the offense in a good situation. So a good, positive run. Offense lines up here. Smith is in the shotgun. Brown's got it. And a first. Well, they convert this time, but they've had a tough time all day long on third down. All you can do is your job, and that was a good job by the offense, picking up the first down. You're down big in the second half. Hey, don't worry about the score right now. Just find ways to execute plays and get down there and score a touchdown. Now first and 10. They'll mark him at the 46. Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to, and also, it opens up so many other things for your offense. Slow, slow, slow. Second down and five. Complete to Wallace. 
The Jets continue to try to look for answers in the passing game. Smith's been shaky from the start. And in the second half, they're going to need to throw the football to close the gap here, Phil. I think you're right. They're going to need to throw it. Now look at the offensive coordinator. A lot of it is up to him. you got to change these play calls, make it easier on the quarterback so we can find some open people down the field. Third and two. Browns handed the football. How about the defensive line? Getting that penetration, getting off the football at the snap, and getting it done, getting in the backfield and making that tackle. All set to punt here. Offense now coming out. Let's go. The quarterback motions the wide receiver. First down and 10. Handoff out of the eye formation. He's brought down at the 23 yard line. There's nothing like big running plays for an offense. It just makes the offensive lineman feel powerful, gives great confidence to the play caller. There's a reason why this guy's in the top 10 rushing yards so far this season. Second down here after that run play. They've come out in the dime package. Let's go! Here is the first snap of the final quarter. Brought down just two yards shy of the first down marker. This is third down. Get ready. Three, three. Hey. He'll get it again. There's the offense picking up another first down on third down. Very few teams in the league can do this and run the football for first downs. Anytime it's in a situation, third and two, third and three, they don't even think about run because they're not tough enough to get it done. Get they ready. have to throw it. Nice job of this offense. Another running play. Flyers there to take him down. What a beautiful long run by the running back. Uh, once again, he just proves why he's one of the best in the NFL. He's in the top 10 so far this year. Get ready. Second and three. Dixon's got it on the handoff. He's taken down at the 47. Dixon's a very smart runner. He knows situations in the game. He saw the first down yard markers, and what does he do? He gets past them and picks up the first down. Double tight end formation. Offense lines up here. First and ten. Still got it after the play action. On the money. And he's brought to the ground. There has been good pass protection for the quarterback all day long. He has not been sacked much, and he throws it there and gets another completion. First down here after the completion. Get it's ready. a two tight end formation. Takes it from the eye. He's taken down at the 23. Definitely not surprised to see this running back get another long run. My gosh, he's been doing it all year long. So far this year, he's in the top 10 in rushing yards and looks like he's going to stay there. Offense lines up here. First down at the 23. Takes another handoff. That brings the play to an end. Once again, this offense in the red zone. This defense has been awful all day long. Can they, can they bow their necks a little and show a little toughness? And maybe stop them this time. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. No 
stopping him now. That's a touchdown. That was just an awful job, wasn't it, by the defense? I mean, it's first and goal. Well, you know it's going to be a run, or I think you should be playing run. The defense not ready. They get overpowered, and they give up the running touchdown. Count it. Dan Carpenter readying his team for the kickoff. Fields the football at the three. Ball's loose. He's brought down. Special teams in this league, especially when you're talking about kicking teams, the kickoff team this time, they hustle, they get down there, they make the big hit. And it causes a fumble, and they recover. Well, let's go. Right. First down at the 17. The give. He stacked up at that point. Jim, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. You're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. Second down coming up. Offense lines up here. Will run it. Here's the handoff. And that'll be good for the first. They're just grinding away down here, inching closer to the end zone. Well, that's what you got to do sometimes. It's hard always to think that you're going to come out and just make big plays. You got to do the dirty work, and this offense is doing it right now. First and goal from the three. And he's in for the touchdown. love it as a quarterback you get down in there and it's first to go and you score now you don't have to sweat the fact that man what are we going to do if he gets the third down you don't have to worry about it good run nice touchdown the bills kickoff team is on the field and the offense is on the sideline celebrating a score that was all set up thanks to a very tenacious defense that recovered the fumble they're setting up the return out across the 20 and tackled at the 21. Geno Smith heading back out for this next series. Smith's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Here's Decker. Games five. That's a nice route on the outside. Nice throw by the quarterback. Puts him in good position to keep moving and get a first down. Decker's a receiver in the slot. The Jets snap it as the ball is out. That'll stop the play right there. One thing coaches hate when their offense is on the field is fumbling the football. Because a lot of times, it's just bad fundamentals. But they're lucky this time. They have the fumble. They're able to get on top of it. They bring him down, and the offense fails to pick up a first down on three plays. Well, that time the offensive line just got overpowered. They allowed penetration. When you do that, nowhere for the running back to go. What a good job of the defensive line. Hainan will be called on now to punt the football. This punt will be returned. And that's a gain of maybe five. The Bills now bring their offense back onto the... ...field for the next drive. First down at the 27. They'll run it here. In on the stop. Another big day for the running back. He came into today's game in the top 10 in the NFL rushing yards. 
And he just added to those yards. Nice run. Second down and five. Hand off. Middle. And he's tackled down at the 36-yard line. Good job by the defensive line standing in there and fighting. And they hold the running back to a short game. Now third and short following the run. Let's go. Gets the handle here. Takes it out right. That's a good tackle. And that's a quick three and out. Handing the ball off hasn't been something that's worked for either one of these teams today, Phil. Well, what you have to show on the offensive side when you want to run the football, you got to show some determination. And the guys on the offensive side just get tougher and make it work. Let's go, three, three. The Bills snap it at the 36. He's going to get another carry. And picks up the first. Gotta have a lot of courage to call these type of plays, don't you, Jim? And, and at that time, even though this team is winning, the coach decides to go for it on fourth down. Good play call, and they make it work. Here comes the wide receiver in motion. The play clock's running down. Back to him. Got a big lane. No one's going to get him now. The Bills offensive line will be whooping it up tomorrow when they watch this play in the field for him. Excellent planning and awesome execution. First down here after the run. Let's this go. play set up by the long gainer. Two, Dixon's taking the handoff. He's brought down at the 20-yard line. Well, once again, the offense is in the red zone. They've got a big lead. I think it's up to this defense. Finally show a little toughness to try to stop them for once. Play number six coming up on this drive. Play clock's running down. Dixon's going to take the handoff now. We've hit the two-minute warning in the second half. Just two minutes left of this one. We're back now for the end of the fourth quarter. Now third and short, following the run. The Bills line up in the pistol offense. Right back to him, middle. Tackles made, and that'll move the chains. First down by the offense inside the red zone. Can the defense show them something different here and keep them from scoring a touchdown? Let's go. First and ten. Again, they'll lean on him. And that's a big-time tackle that keeps them three yards short of the first down marker. Well, when you got a big lead, you're down near the opposing team's goal line. What do you do? Well, you know what? You line up, you run the football, and just dare the defense. Can you stop us this time, even though you know we're going to run it? That's second down coming up. Wide receivers are bunched up. Back to the ground. That's a gain of only a yard. Hey, look, it's not the offense's job here late in the game. You're up big. You're near the goal line to just kneel on it. You keep running your offense, run the football. It's up to the defense to stop you. Third down on the way. Marching down the field and taking their time. And game's Maybe four. This game has been out of hand for a long time. They're down near the goal line again, and it's just up to the defense. Have some courage, show some pride, and try to stop them this time. Mounting a serious drive.
So first and goal to go. Another touchdown to increase the lead. I would bet first and goal that the offense about 90% of the time is going to run the football. And what do they do here? They run it and they get it done. That is power football at its best. Makes the PAT. They're lining up here for the onside kick. And unable to pull off the onside kick, the hands team comes away with the football. Now you start to get a little momentum going. You got the win last week, and you pick up another victory here today. It, it's just awesome, isn't it? Uh, you know, athletes are incredible. Give them a little positive reinforcement, like winning the football game. They believe in what they can do. Uh, the coaches believe in them. So they actually give them more opportunities. They trust them more. And that's how you get a winning streak going. What a memorable game this truly was. For Phil Sims, Danielle Bellini, and Larry Ridley, Jim Nance saying so long for now, and we leave you with the GMC Never Say Never moment of the game.